it is Crystal with Pineapple Papers, and it is day 22 of Christy's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches, and today's beautiful sketch comes from Ronnie, and I was looking at this, and I cannot wait to see what she makes. Me, on the other hand, I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm like... I need to get my cricket out. I need to cut a circle. I need to find a big doily. What am I going to do? I'm like, do I need a cut file for a film strip? Like, my brain was thinking literal. Like, it was crazy. It was just thinking literal. And I was like, you know what, Crystal? You just need to chill. Because <laughs> I'm looking for wood grain. Like, this is where my brain was going. And I was like, okay. You need to look at your pictures. See what you want a scrapbook. See if there's anything that you want to scrapbook and let's make it work. So I pulled out these two pictures. This is my daughter and her friend from Halloween. They were M&Ms. They made their own costumes. It was super cute. I did help, but um, they pretty much did it all, which is awesome. And so I was like, okay, well, if I put these two pictures on top of each other, that kind of mimics the idea of the two pictures for the film strip. I'm like, that, that's going to work. So that's what I'm going to go with. So I started with that. And I'm like, okay, I think I want to go bold in color. And I want to pull in um, the, the yellow and the blue from their, their outfits. So... I have a little bit of color study left and there's this blue stripe paper, like perfect blue. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to go with that. And then I just dug through my loose pattern papers and pulled out um, this yellow polka dot and I'm going to use that as my background. I'm like, well, it's, it's kind of matted. <laughs> Not really, but a little bit. And then I was like, okay, I don't have a ton of paper. I don't really want to bring in very, like, many more colors of paper or just patterns of paper even. So I decided that I would go look and see if I had any of the tool left from when the kids made their skirts. And sure enough, I had some yellow tool, which works out perfect um, because then, then the yellow tool can be on top of the blue paper. And so I backed my photo in what I had left, which was just enough to do two full layers, which I thought, well, that's super fun. And then um, I adhered that down with some double-sided tape. I got this double-sided tape on the clearance table at photo play and I love this stuff. I love that it's so thick. I wish I would have bought more, but I didn't. I just have this one, but it worked perfect for the tool. So I adhered that down and then I was like, okay, I need a circle. How am I going to do this circle? And I was like, you know what? I am going to take all of these embellishments and I am just going to make it kind of like a half circle and I'm going to use all this fun things even though initially I was like, no, I just want to stick with the blue and yellow. And then all of these fun ephemera pieces happened and I was like, nope, I'm going to use all of these. So I go ahead and make basically that half circle there and I pull that title. I absolutely love that title. It says create yourself, which they did create these costumes themselves, so that's what I was going with. I'm not sure that that's actually the intention of it, but that was kind of where my a brain was going. And I figure I can stick a bird on here. They're outside. I can stick butterflies on it because they're on the flowers. Like, I can, I can totally make this work. So I'm going to flip through. I have two ephemera packs. Um, so I'm going to flip through this second one and see if I like any of these pieces instead. Um, and I was contemplating that vellum butterfly, but I really like the bright yellow one. Like that's the one that's going to stay. So I don't think that I use anything from this pack, which is kind of amazing. Um, 
But I did have to look through all this stuff first. Like, I had to see if maybe, just maybe, there was anything else that I wanted to add. But, oh, maybe? Mm, no. I was like, maybe something goes on there, but I really don't feel like it. But you got a good look at what's in this color study ephemera pack. Um, and, you know, that you and me would have would have been good too, but uh, I don't really have any craft going on. So I think that is going to do it as far as um, the embellishing. So I did go off, off camera and glue everything down. And I am going to finish it off with some Spiegel Mom scrap sequins. These, this sequin mix, I believe, is We Are Royals. Um, and it has a beautiful blue and pink in it. I don't think it has any yellow, but I decided, you know what? I think there's enough yellow with the yellow that's in the photo, the yellow that's in the background, um, and the tool. So I didn't feel like I needed to dig for yellow sequins. Um, but I do have two butterflies on here and I definitely had to make sure that, um, they had sequin trails cause that is definitely, that's definitely one of my things. Like I try and think about sometimes like what, what are my things? Everybody's doing like these go-to designs. And I was like, do I even have any of those? Is there anything that I'm like, drawn to, I'm like, I just don't know. But I can tell you that there is one thing that I almost always do. And that is if there are butterflies on my layout, they all have sequin trails. I don't tend to put them under birds or any other animals because then it just looks like poo and nobody wants poo on their layout. So definitely with the butterflies. So now that those are adhered all down, my layout is complete. So I do have a couple of close-ups. I was worried about this um, layout, but when all was said and done, I absolutely love it. So I hope you love it too. Um, make sure you check out everybody down below and Christy's channel for the main list. And remember to wear your crown and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.